This is Dean with Westlake Pro, and today we're taking a look at Ozone 7 Elements from Isotope. This is a distilled version of Isotope's flagship mastering software, Ozone 7, and it's a very simple interface with a very powerful engine that allows you to quickly master your tracks and get great sound. So this is the perfect plugin if you're beginning mastering and uh, you, you just kind of want a, an entry level plugin that's going to get you that great sound, that level, the you know bit of timbre and dynamic shaping. But it's also a great plugin if you're just looking for a low CPU intensive plugin that you can just throw on your demos uh, and, and quickly get a great sound. So let's go ahead and take a look in this video at the overall interface, all the things that this plugin can do. Here in the main part of the plugin window, you can see we've got a list, uh, folders and uh, presets here. So each of these presets changes the back end of what Ozone 7 Elements is doing. So as you can see, I click on uh, one of them, add it focus. This one doesn't allow me to change these macro controls, whereas CD Master does. Some are just the dynamics amount, some are both, and some are just the EQ amount. So a great list of presets here with very intuitive names. You can quickly get an idea of what is going to happen to the sound when you click on one of these presets. For example, Brighten Overall Mix or Enhanced Dynamics. This is a, a very cool uh, preset library because it has just about everything you could need in it to quickly master your tracks. We've also got some delivery specific mastering. For example, uh, let's say you wanted, uh, you know, negative 0.3 dBTP. Uh, it has that ability here. Uh, you can also have like vinyl master, uh, leaving a little bit more headroom. We've also got genre-specific mastering, which is a very cool list that gives you kind of some, some genre-specific options. Jazzy clean, new funk, uh, simple down-tempo, tight trio. Uh, so uh, some very cool options there, even some vintage options. These are some of my favorite sounds uh, within the plugin. And finally, we've got signature presets. And uh, these are presets that our you know, signature you know, mastering engineers have put together. So um, you can see here that it starts us off and we've got you know, high detail, mid-range detail, quick limiting. So that is the bulk here of the plugin, but we've also got some controls. We've got the maximizer, which we can actually turn on and off. And we've got a threshold control. So as you can see here, when I click on a preset, um, it you know, already sets the threshold, but then I can go in and adjust it however I like. This is how you're going to get loudness out of your tracks. Down here we have macro controls, and you can see it's a very simple interface. We have EQ amount, which is either 100% or negative 100%. And this controls how much the EQ is affecting the sound. For example, when we turn on Emphasize Bass, it's going to add that EQ curve that's going to bump the bass a little bit. But if you want to do it even more, you can turn this EQ amount all the way up. If you want to do it less, you can bring it back down uh, to negative 100%. Here we have the Dynamics amount. In this control, we're actually able to uh, mix the dry signal, the uncompressed signal, with the compressed signal. And this is a, a great slider here that allows us to choose how much the dynamics is affecting the sound. Sometimes you want to use all of the dynamics. For example, in CD Master, sometimes you might have a track that just needs that extra compression, so you might leave it up closer to 100. Or if you have a track that's already pretty uh, pretty well done on the dynamic spectrum. You don't really need that much compression, but a little bit of glue helps. Uh, you can just tuck it back down here towards zero. 
Now over here, one of the best parts about this plugin is the metering. These are the same meters that you're seeing uh, throughout Ozone, uh, the Ozone 7 and Ozone 7 Advanced plugins. And you can see that you have RMS and peak meters. This is very helpful when you're working with a master. You can also turn on mid-side if you like. Down here, you've got some options. You've got bypass, which bypasses the plugin and allows you to hear the signal before processing. And you've also got this little ear icon. And when you click on this and turn bypass on, it will actually keep the overall output level the same so that you're actually hearing the difference that the EQ dynamics and all the other stuff under the hood is making on the sound without hearing the jump in level. This makes it very easy to A, B test and hear exactly what's happening with your sound. Down here we've got options, a pop-out preset menu, and also help menu. This brings up the manual here. So that is Ozone 7 Elements, a great plugin. We are going to uh, do some more videos showing you in depth all of the different elements within this plugin, all of the different things that you can do. We're also going to be demoing it out on a bunch of different styles of tracks so that we can play around with the presets and really push this thing to its limits and see what it can do. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out the links in the description for links to these other videos as well as to purchase your own copy of Ozone 7 Elements. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to the Westlake Pro YouTube channel for more videos like this.